Yo, what up? It's your girl, Julie B, here today with a life-changing tip on return of serve. Do you smoke in the lobby? That's what I call when you sit, wait, and watch your returns. So instead of sitting, waiting, and watching, I want you to try leaning, connecting, and exploding. So the number one mistake I see my students make when returning serve is they're sitting back on their heels. As soon as they connect with the ball, they take a step backwards. Then when they finally hit the ball, they're sitting, waiting, and watching their shot instead of exploding and moving forward. So to reverse this behavior, we need to feel the opposite. We need to feel like we are leaning forward into the ball. I'll even say walk into the ball or run into the ball. Teachers hate giving that advice to their students. I don't mind it at all because we've got to get you feeling differently. There's feel and then there's real. So if you need to feel like you're running through it or running forward, I am totally fine with that because in reality, you're probably not. So we wanna get you leaning forward, connecting with the ball. So when I say connect with the ball, what I mean is you are connecting with the sweet spot of your paddle and a target. If you struggle with returns, ask yourself, how often are you actually associating a target with your return? Or are you just hoping and praying? That's the worst thing you can do with both serves and returns. Let's not forget, when we talk about connect, we're not just talking about connecting with your paddle, the center of your paddle, we're talking about connecting with a target. So what is the right target when you're returning? I wanna visualize a deep serve. I'm not scared of hitting my serve out. I'd rather see that than tight and in the net. So I'm always visualizing a strong, deep return to a target of my choosing, whether that's dead center of the court, splitting my opponents, making them have to decide, do I hit a forehand, do I hit a backhand? Or if it's to an opponent's backhand because it's their weakness. Visualize that target and wondrous things will happen to your returns. So after we lean, and we connect, we're gonna explode forward to the kitchen line. We're gonna feel all of that forward momentum taking us to the kitchen as though there's a string at the net that's tied to our belly button and it's pulling us into the kitchen. Sarah Ansbury actually taught me one of the best pieces of advice for returning serve. So another way to think about lean, connect and explode is simply to push off of your right leg at impact. So right before you're going to make contact with the ball, feel that right leg start to push you forward. That has helped me a ton. In tournaments, when I'm feeling my returns get a little squirrely on me, I go back to that Sarah Ansbury tip. And that is gonna be a totally different world for you than smoking in the lobby, sitting, waiting, and watching. Let's lean, connect, and explode. Try that, tell me how it goes. I'm Jilly B, and that was your pro band pro tip of the week. Hey, if you love my content, don't forget, pump that subscribe button, pump that follow button.